Photographers of Reddit, what is the most outrageous photo shoot request you have received from an Instagram influencer? Wedding photographer here. They said they were influencers with a great following that they'd promote me to but when I asked for their handle online. Silence. I get this is a lot as I'm fairly well known so an easy target when people look. Exposure? People die from exposure. That last line. Best line I've ever freaking heard. My best friend and also my brother are photographers. Been a wedding photographer for 12 years. I routinely get asked to do entire weddings for free. Not even always from Instagram influencers. One time this guy, whom I didn't even like that much, asked me to do a wedding for free for his friend. Someone I didn't even know existed at all until this interaction. I just imagine walking into a restaurant and asking for the absolute best meal they have for zero dollars and then telling them it will be good for their business to do so. DJ. Same thing. Influencers weren't what they are now back when this happened but there was this flamboyant musician client I had that wanted to generate a buzz. I was pretty early in my career so it didn't sound crazy at the time. But he hired me to follow him around a local outdoor shopping mall pretending to be paparazzi. It was actually kinda fun shouting fake interview questions at him while he ignored me. Lots of people fell for it and followed us around. Looking back on it, it was the dumbest gig I've ever had. Sounds funny and seems harmless honestly. I had a client ask me to photoshop his head onto another guy's body because he liked the shirt the other guy was wearing more than his own. I actually did it because it was hilarious and he paid me for it. Artists got to eat too. Had someone ask for me to do a videography shoot of their new house being built. They said $200, but they wanted me to go each weekend for 2 years and shoot it to build up a time lapse and stuff. I definitively said no. I was selling an old camera on eBay, maybe $50. And someone asked me to send it to him for free so he could review it on his YouTube channel. I'm not the manufacturer of the second hand camera. Just an art student trying to make some money. So I don't know how he thought reviewing my old camera was of any benefit to me. And then it turned out he only had 10 subscribers so I really don't know what he thought he was doing. You have 10 subscribers but start your email off with hi I'm name better known as channel name. Somehow have avoided this with my actual photography work but I still laugh about eBay guy. 10 people follow his channel, but only 3 people know who he is, himself and his parents. So he wasn't wrong. A bald guy asked me to photoshop veins in his head to make his head look like a giant dong. He was some kind of businessman who was selling a audio book. Dickhead move. Had someone ask me to do more than a week of videography for them and create a promo video for $200. Not a day. For the whole week. Assuming 8 hours a day. 5 business days. That would come out to $5 an hour. Jesus Christ. That's less than minimum wage. The entitlement of some people. Influencer asked me to shoot and before I even had the chance to give her my prices she decided to give me hers. Over $300 for Emmy to shoot with her for 30 minutes. One of her main selling points was she could teach me how to leverage and grow my social media. Girl was 15. She was asking me to pay her $300 plus when in reality at a minimum she should be paying me. I don't even charge that much at her. In fairness, I can kind of see how this entitlement develops. Random fashion companies offer modeling opportunities to girls as young as 14 just bc they have 3k followers and post bikini pics. And that combined with general teenage dumbassery leads to a massively inflated ego. Had a girl contact me to do a suicide girls photo shoot. I gave her my rates and she got back with though, I don't have that much. Isn't it enough that you'd see my tea? As a photo assistant in Chicago, I had a friend tell me there was a popular NY photographer looking for an assistant on Instagram for a shoot in Chicago. I inquired with the gentleman, and he said he only had a day rate of $150. On top of that, he said the day would be a 14 hour day, and he asked me to pick up his equipment rental which included a 12 foot sweep, and store it at my place to be ready for the shoot the next day. Heck no. $150 for 17 hours worth of work. ID see which photographer you are pay your assistants correctly. Typo pay not lay. $150 for 17 hours. Bet that's an older guy who used to get 150 slash day assisting 25 years ago. Like me. 
not a photographer but I sell rocks, crystals, obelisks, palm stones etc. To fund a small animal sanctuary, I've been asked by a few people to borrow my inventory of rocks to do photo shoots for. None of them offered to pay and wanted me to lug a thousand pounds of rocks to their location and set them all up all out of the kindness of my heart. I would have taken $50 or $100 for an entire day's shoot tbh but really? That's sweet of you. Please keep doing what you're doing. Beat poop. Some influencer that was promoting Batanin in beats as healthy diet. She want me to take images of the color change poop. That this is actually normal in those that can't process the Batanin. That week, my DSLR was dropped hard, and now I am without it. It was a bad week. The strangest thing to me about this is not the fact that she wanted pictures of the poop, but that she wanted someone else to take the pictures. Yuck. Also, sorry about your DSLR. Had an influencer try to set up a shoot with me. When I mentioned my price she was shocked because she was under the assumption that I was going to pay her for some reason. I work at a hotel and it's unfrickin' believable how many of these dipshits want to stay for free in exchange for a post. Our marketing research shows they have almost zero ROI. A few years back I was in Acadia National Park and we did the Beehive Trail Hike. For those unfamiliar it's basically as close to rock climbing as you can get non harnessed as you are going straight up a cliff on iron rungs and stuff. So super fun and you are rewarded with an amazing view at the top. Most people take a quick snap there at the lip, as most do at the peak of their hike, and then move on to the more rocky area, bit less a nice view, to rest. Anyway while we were there resting two Instagram girls got to the top and promptly took over the best view of the lip to take various yoga poses, because that was totally a natural thing to do after scrambling up a cliff. For at least 10 minutes families were coming up asking if they could take a picture, but they literally said we were here first and we'll be here a while when asked if they were almost done. We ended up leaving before they were done but it still boils my blood thinking about it. I would just photo them all their pictures until they left. I can't stand people like that professional here. This isn't really outrageous in terms of what they wanted to do in a photo, but I would say 90% of influencers who contact me try to use tagging as their form of payment. Well I have 100k followers so you're guaranteed to get so much work from this you'd be an idiot to say no. This is word for word what one woman said to me when I politely informed her of my rates. Paying artists an exposure is nothing new but the level of entitlement I'm seeing these days is off the charts. The only thing I can ever guarantee from these interactions is that they will throw a massive tantrum when I say no. Complete with some classic Arna Sejeral's lines like your crap isn't even that good. I was trying to do you a favor, etc. One person contacted me saying that she gets paid X amount from companies per post. Thus every post she makes using my photographs should count for X amount of dollars paid to me because like so many PPL will see it you will pretty much be famous. Yes I do my best to explain how the process actually works. That exposure isn't a form of payment, etc. This has varying degrees of success but a lot of the time they end up paying my rates anyways and say something like never know if you don't ask right, lol. No I don't ever respond with sarcastic or snarky comments. You never know when someone will go off the rails and start bad mouthing you on their platform. Screenshots are a thing and word of mouth is a huge part of getting new clients. Yes it would be immensely satisfying to lay into some of these people but an out of context screenshot with some victim story behind it can be extremely damaging so it's always better to err on the side of caution. I honestly appreciate all the suggestions for counter offers and ways of dealing with these people. There are some seriously smart answers here. Bravo Reddit. I don't let anyone take advantage of me or my business and managing client expectations is just part of the job. Someone asked me to shoot her entire wedding. A full day. An engagement photo shoot underwater. I do underwater photography also. And some honeymoon shots somewhere. All for exposure. I straight up said no. Politely and she kicked off in a patronizing way asking me if she knew who she was and what it would do for my career. She had about 10k less followers than I did and I don't even do weddings as I had pointed out so it wasn't even in my best interest even if she had millions of followers. Oh and an influencer guy asked me to do a nude photoshoot for him for free. I declined but wished him luck. He then sent a dong pic. I reported him. The influencer with less influence than you that's rich. 
I was in NY once and this girl, should be in her 20s, approached me and told me to take her photo. I thought it would be some general request, but still, to stand up to my pride, I lower the camera to gain an architectural perspective. But then when I look at her, she was standing in middle of the road, one arm on a car, that she must have stopped cause that traffic was ongoing, and the other holding a banner that said, life. To this day I had no idea what I just witnessed. She asked for $200 HR with a 3 hour minimum, without any real prior modeling experience, and had conditions that the photos could not be posted anywhere and that she was going to have them sold exclusively on her Patreon. Not a photographer personally but a few of my close friends are. My friend we'll call Sarah is a pretty successful photographer for only being college student. About a month ago Sarah and I were meeting up for lunch at our university's food court and she's fiddling with her cameras prepping them for a big shoot she has that night when this very attractive girl walks over and starts chatting us up. She makes a few minutes of casual conversation mostly inquiring about Sarah's cameras, and then finally asks if she'd be interested in doing a shoot. She immediately throws her pitch which had to do with modeling some very risk-array outfits up in the mountains just outside of the city and then a few photos directly in the center of downtown. Overall the whole pitch was something that bordered very close to being pornographic in nature. Sarah tells the girl her typically rates and also states that because of the nature of the shoot she'll have to charge extra as it's not something she typically does or is super comfortable with. The girl's face when Sarah mentioned the price went from enthusiastic to very are you killing me she then butts in and says I have over 85k Instagram followers, do you know the kind of exposure working with me would give you? This is a once in a lifetime chance for you. Sarah responds telling her that she's an in-house photographer for three of the city's largest concert venues, works as a photographer for the newspaper, and is a highly recommended wedding photographer on top of it all. I don't work for free my favorite line she said during this was I work with people much more famous than you on an almost daily basis. I've shot photos for Marilyn Manson, Motley Crue, Shania Twain, Post Malone and a bunch of other musicians that come through and was paid for all of it. Your exposure isn't worth anything to me after that the girl got really upset and walked off. Work in a camera store and do photography myself. Hear stories about this sort of stuff all the time. Usually just ask model shoots for exposure but I've heard and seen stories there is a fairly popular one at the moment about a photographer in Chicago, about people asking for full wedding shoots for exposure. Not always influencers asking these questions either, sometimes a people ask this stuff and then say stuff like well if I had that equipment then we'd be able to get the same results. They just don't have respect for the time that goes into the art form. Point them to borrowed lenses website and wish them luck. I do documentary film and I had a non-film job in college and I met this lady who was maybe 30 asked me to do an Instagram video like this and she showed me a professional video shoot done with a green screen, lights and set. I told her I could probably get pretty close to quality with my university's equipment, but it would take time to get a crew together and reserve a studio. She told me no, that I should just record it with my phone. I told her that's not what they did for the Instagram video she just showed me and she said it's on Instagram. That means they recorded it with their phone. She dropped it after I mentioned I charge money and wouldn't just do it to be nice. She has like 10 followers and 3 of them were porn bits. I do photography on the side since I mostly film video. But I have a friend who has an Instagram account as a side business for fun. I told her I would do a photo shoot for her if she helped me with my resume and cover letter. Although she has tons of companies that give her products to review for free, the photo credit she gave me honestly didn't lead to any followers on my Instagram. So yeah, anyone who wants exposure for crazy work I don't think knows that they actually don't give any exposure. In my case I was the one who brought up the deal and honestly I would have done it for free to get out of the house because she's my friend. But yeah, that photo credit doesn't do anything in my experience. I do street photography every so often. I was once offered influence credit for pretending to be in shock that I found her in the streets of my town. I would take a bunch of photos of her at the spot and give them to her. This would all be recorded by her, I hope, boyfriend. I wasn't allowed to use the photos myself and all I would get is a tag at the end of the description. I said no thanks. 
then snapped a couple photos of her. She said she would sue me. I said we were on public streets and I'm a hobbyist who doesn't sell. I don't need model waivers. Never heard from her again. Never used photos either. She's not interesting. She said she would sue me. I had someone try this line on me when they discovered I was recording them while playing TF2. I told them go ahead and try, buddy. I am more broke than a drop dinner plate. They quickly left the server. Not a photographer, but one of my acquaintances is a semi-popular influencer. She spends way too much time to see authentic and down to earth. One time at a small party I did something funny that made a bunch of people laugh. Whatever it was wasn't caught on camera and she forced me to recreate the moment so that she could film it for her Instagram stories. You're not having fun unless you can prove it to your thousands of followers apparently. Do that spontaneous thing again. Do IT. Everyone needs to know how much fun we're having. BTW there was a great always sunny where D was essentially trying to do this. Fellow redditor pointed out the episode of always sunny was season 14 episode 07. The gang solves global warming. I paid my photographer for my album cover with cinnamon buns. He insisted that was the payment he wanted. So I've invented a new currency. Did it with the photo editor too. Although it was a mix of money and cinnamon buns. Imagining a world in which we pay for everything with cinnamon buns. I'm a train conductor. Heading out to hop on a train that was parked to take it to its destination. The locomotives were under this 200 yard long overpass tunnel. All private property. There's two early 20s girls under there taking pics. I asked them to leave and they took an attitude and were upset I was ruining their photo shoot. The engineer and I are all ready to roll. I'm tall, young, and fit so the engineer asks if I wanna go try to get a phone number. I reply nah. Reach over and lay on the whistle for a solid minute as the two trespassers run screaming. Whistles are loud. Amplified by a compact overpass tunnel it's painfully loud. Also, cool railroad pictures aren't worth getting hurt or putting trainmen in a semi-responsible position of your demise. Haha <laughs> I love ridiculous requests because I do surrealist near and stuff on my own time and really enjoy going for weird unusual vibes. Probably the funniest was one girl who came to my house. I have a mini jungle to shoot with my plants and we wrapped her up in vines. Wrapped her guitar. Stacked up plants behind her and generally made it look like she was being enveloped by plants. Fun results and really funny to shoot. I'm no model, but if I had to choose a way to be photographed, it would be in a sea of plants. Not a photographer. Boo it. My friend and I were flying to Vegas. And we were sitting in a bar in the airport having some beers. We watched a girl do a video shoot with her mom for 20 minutes. The odd thing was, she did the same walk away from the camera pulling her bag. Then turn around and pose make a silly face growl at the camera every time. It only took maybe 30 seconds for her to do her thing. Then to go review it, and start again. She did it dozens of times, it was great. I live in Vegas, we obviously have tons of tourists. This crap drives me insane. Obviously you'd take pictures but the 30 plus minute photo shoots in front of signs always get me. Not photography but I make videos full productions for major clothing sports brands. I get a crap load of influencers and models that are dying to be in the videos. One even tracked me down on Tinder after I blocked her on Instagram begging that she would be worry better than all the models with a professional portfolio and agency. Did a casting call on Instagram once. Worst mistake ever. There is a huge difference in being an Instagram model influencer and an actual professional model. Yes we need to know all your sizes yes all your sizes. I couldn't give a crap about which cup hip shoe size you have but productions needs to know how else are they gonna make clothing that fits you exactly. No you can't take photos vlog on set you're getting paid to model not to influence. No you can't post those photo until 6 months after when the clothing line gets released. Yes you have to wear winter clothes in summer and summer clothes in winter and shoot for 10 hours a day. Sometimes I believe being a model is even harder than being in the crew. At least I can look like I'm dying after the third day they still have to look pretty. I'm a model and it's crazy how much influencers change down market. The only positive side is that every time I work now photographers and clients are always telling me how easy it is to work with me. How the last girl was hard to work with. Of course, I'm a professional. I do the job I've been paid to do. 
I was asked to do a boudoir shoot featuring blood, bondage and vampires, people biting each other, by a very well established children's show staff producer back in Toronto, comma it was a woman, comma I didn't do it, as I can't have my name associated with shoots in that field, nude, boudoir, BDSM, because I work with global brands in the food, property and portraits industry, the risk factor was too high for the pay and that kinda thing has never been my style. Despite being asked many times to do these types of shoots as a female photographer. Comma the show has been around since the mid 90s. It was extremely famous back in the day. That's all I can say. If you're American there's a good chance you've seen at least one episode. I wish I could name drop. But I haven't been granted permission to do so by the producer. For obvious reasons. Very famous children's show producer. I can't think of any. But Google says Dan Schneider. A related story but exactly what OP is asking for, we were on a road trip and at the Tokati Falls near Southern Oregon. Now this falls is located at the end of a trail about a mile long. The trail leads to a vantage point that's about 40-50 feet above the fall. If you are a rock climber, then you can probably scramble to the base of the falls but it's quite a scary endeavor. The day we were there, we saw two influencer couples at the parking lot. We noticed them because the girls stripped down to their skimpy bikinis at the parking lot and they had some snorkeling gear as well. Now this is a pretty popular spot on Insta and so the parking lot was packed with quite a lot of kids and families around. They started the hike the same time as us and were planning on various poses and shots the whole time. Finally we reached the end of the trail and they realized that all those cool shots on Insta means scrambling 30 featuring down a wet rock face to the bottom of the falls. The disappointment was palpable that day. The bickering while hiking back was even better. It still cracks me up to think about that day. An influencer contacted my production company to shoot both a photo session and promo video. They sent Emmy an estimate on how much I had to pay to do the work for her. I politely declined. Well I'm a boudoir photographer on the side of also being a fashion. SFW photographer, and I've had a request years ago to shoot a spiritual group self master bash and orgy event. At the time I was way too new to the boudoir and erotic side of photography in general to go through with it. Honestly if it were today, I would have totally done it and blogged about it. IDK they sound like a bunch of wankers. Not a photographer, but I recently got back from the Dominican and while there, a girl spent roughly 40 minutes sitting on a paddleboard and standing in the ocean striking new poses for what I can only assume was her Instagram. The time invested in being artificially genuine is sickening. Similar experience, I was on the beach and I watched a couple spend the entire afternoon trying to get the perfect shot for her IG or whatever. She would paddle out. Make some kind of wacky yoga pose while her boyfriend took the pictures. Then she would paddle back in and yell at him for taking crappy photos. Lather, rinse, repeat. They did this for hours. While not Instagram, I did a photoshoot videography for a laser fireworks show with a great band. The shoot was for a friend's company. Didn't discuss price beforehand since I knew they know how much I charge typically. Thought I'd get more than normal since I also helped set up the 15k worth of fireworks and helped with Ted Derwin. I was then expected to pay myself by skimming off the parking money for the venue they were using. Needless to say we aren't friends anymore. I shoot concerts frequently as a hobby and I usually offer the artists some photos in exchange for a media pass and tell them they can do anything with the images that I send print or being sold 90% of the time people have zero issues with that and agree. Happily, except rapper made in Tokyo or whatever his name is. He asked me to pay him a $300 photography fee to shoot his concert on top of having the ability to do whatever he wants with the images. I told him lol no thanks and immediately stopped messaging him. He then messaged me twice more asking for $200 then $100 before I blocked him on social media. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.